Hey, welcome to a new video. Nowadays, it's impossible to imagine life without the camera, and we capture just about everything in our lives. So grab some food and drinks and have some fun watching these moments that you wouldn't believe if they weren't captured on camera. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Anyone can make a mistake, including major news outlets like the BBC. Guy Goma is a man who was accidentally interviewed as a technology expert. He really didn't know much about technology, but he agreed to the interview. The newscast was about the legal dispute between Apple Corp and Apple Computer over competing trademark rights. Moments later, it appeared that Guy Goma was mistaken for a technology expert named Guy Cuny. Guy Goma arrived at the BBC for the job interview, but apparently he wasn't checked closely enough to see if he was the right person. The Burj Khalifa is a skyscraper located in Dubai and is the world's tallest building with a height of 2,716 feet, or 828 meters. In July 2007, it officially got this title. And if you want to travel to the top floor, you have to go with an elevator that can reach speeds of up to 42 kilometers per hour. Nearby, you can also find the Dubai Mall, one of the largest shopping malls in the world. In April of 2014, the Burj Khalifa had broken another record, this time by two base jumpers named Vince Raffet and Fred Fugan. It's not the highest base jump of all time, but it's the highest base jump from a building. Before doing the jump, a platform was installed on top of the tip of the building. The jump looks spectacular, and you have to be a little crazy to dare to do this. The two men had trained for more than three years before. Parrots, ravens, and crows are birds that are among the smartest animals in the world. In the next video, we're going to show you how smart crows can be. Researchers even found that crows have the same intelligence as a seven-year-old child. They can be found everywhere on Earth, preferably in open areas with grasslands and trees nearby. Crows also have the largest brain of all bird species and can even recognize human faces. In 2014, the BBC Earth Channel uploaded a video showing how smart a crow can solve a difficult problem. A short and a long stick with three pebbles have been placed to be used by the crow. With a small stick, he manages to get the three stones. He puts in a kind of box which gives him a longer stick. In this order, he manages to get his reward. Rocket launches are always fascinating to watch, especially since the technology used for the launches and test flights has improved greatly over the years. In the following video footage, we see Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, conducting a test of the Starship SN10. The Starship is one of the company's most advanced projects, whose goal is that they can use a reusable aircraft to transport people. The tests are being done to improve the controlled descent of the aircraft. There have been previous flight tests before that of the SN10. For example, there was an SN9 and an SN8 that never made a successful landing because they exploded during descent. But with the SN10, the landing was successful, and the video footage is also very spectacular and you would almost think it was a video game. Because how incredible is it to land the rocket exactly where it was launched from? Everyone knows that caterpillars spend their time munching on leaves and vegetation, but a while ago, a very rare species was discovered in Hawaii. This species had evolved into carnivorous caterpillars in the Hawaiian forest. This means that it eagerly preys on insects like flies. They were first discovered by biologist Steve Montgomery in 1972. He took a Eupathesia caterpillar home and placed it in a bottle with a fly. When he returned to check the bottle, the caterpillar was there, but the fly had vanished. Intrigued, he placed another fly in the bottle, and before his eyes, he witnessed an astonishing moment. The caterpillar seized the insect and devoured it within seconds. How these caterpillars became carnivorous remains a mystery, but Steve speculates that it has something to do with the lack of insect predators on the island. Believe it or not, but there's an unusual fish in this world that's extremely unique because of the way it breathes. This fish swims around without food or water and can do so for about four to five years. In addition to their gills, they have lungs that allow them to take in oxygen from the air, just like land animals. Scientists around the world are fascinated by the abilities of these fish, as they can be used in various fields, from medicine to space travel. Trains are handy to take from one destination to another. But would you also take the train if it's overcrowded? In Mumbai, a city in India, there's a lot of people waiting for the train. The train stations in Mumbai are also among the busiest in the world. 
Due to the pandemic in which we live now, the train stations are a lot quieter. But in the years before 2020, it looked overcrowded. One of the reasons why it's so overcrowded is because it doesn't cost that much money, and people choose the train over other means of transport. In this video, we see people storming out of the train, while thousands of people are waiting to get on. In some cases, there are more than 4,500 passengers on the train, while the train is only made for 2,000 to 2,500 people. Would you like to travel on such a crowded train? Let me know in the comments. In the next video coming out of India, we see a customer walk into a local supermarket. He grabs something he wants to buy and throws the money to the cashier. The way the customer threw his money note was disrespectful to the cashier. So he threw the change back in the same way and it fell to the ground. The customer decides not to pick up the money and looks around. Then he picks up a soda bottle, which was about the same amount as the change, and finally points the money to the ground and walks out of the shop again. In our opinion, this interaction between these two people is quite funny, but at the same time, a little sad. Anyway, it looks like the customer is king after all. If you think rocket launches are cool, how about a dog that can drive a car? Meet Porter, the world's first driving dog. Porter was trained by the SPCA, New Zealand's oldest and largest animal welfare organization. He knows how to accelerate with his paw while controlling the steering with his other paw. With the help of his trainer, the dog manages to drive a bit. The organization worked with the car manufacturer, Mini Cooper, to raise awareness of the abandoned animals. They train the dogs and have them adopted by a new family who can take care of them. They thought of the driving dog campaign as a way to find new owners for the dogs. This was very effective because the video reached millions of viewers. The organization also trains other dogs such as Monty and Guinea who have also learned how to drive. Have you ever wanted to surf but the sea is too far away or you're too afraid of sharks lurking nearby? No worries, a company called Wave Garden has come up with a solution. They built a water park in South Korea known as the world's largest surf park. In the video, we see multiple surfers testing the artificial waves and the massive pool. The pool is designed to create 20 different types of waves, ranging from 1.5 to 6.5 feet or 50 centimeters to 2 meters high in height. Wave Park also ensures that the water is crystal clear and hygienically safe by using advanced water treatment and filtration technology. If you're a surfing enthusiast, it would be amazing if Wave Park could build something like this in our country too. What would you do when a police officer asked you to show him your driver's license? Well, just give him a donut. Just kidding, but that's exactly what this man did when a cop stopped his car for speeding. However, the car driver tried to find his driver's license and probably couldn't. And then he had a brilliant idea. He decided to bribe the officer with a donut. As you may know, there's a stereotype that all police officers love donuts, and it seems that it's true in this case. However, some people claim that this video could never have been real. What do you think? Did you know that elephants are very smart? They are known to have the biggest brains of all land animals, and they can also work together very well. They can feel pity, empathy, understand languages, and much more. But in 2018, something bizarre was captured on camera. In the Nargahol National Park in India, an elephant seems to blow out a cloud of smoke. You might think, smoke? How was that possible? When scientists investigated the phenomenon, they found that the elephant picked up a charcoal from the forest floor with her trunk and put it in her mouth. The Wildlife Conservation Society who filmed the footage believe that the charcoal serves as laxative and helps to counteract toxins in their diet. Although further research is needed, it seems the elephants are aware of the chemicals. It's hard to believe, but this man managed to escape from under a frozen lake using an axe. The man probably decided to perform an experiment after all. Otherwise, we have no idea why he decided to enter the frozen lake. The video footage looks extremely scary, as it's very dangerous to stay underwater for long periods of time, especially in a frozen lake. As the man himself explains, he was able to make an opening just big enough to stick his head through and take an air. Fortunately, he's safe and sound, but the video footage is incredible. When you hear the word ski holiday, you quickly think of skiing over a snowy surface. It's very popular with people, and it's even a sport that is done at a very high level. Skiing used to be just a means of transport for farmers and hunters during the winter months. But since 1924, ski competitions have been held at the Olympic Winter Games. However, there are a number of French adventurers who couldn't wait until winter and decided to ski over the autumn leaves in the forest. There are a number of rules for this. 
However, as you have to make sure this is a soft surface with a lot of leaves, and of course you have to have a lot of experience in skiing itself. If you have enough experience, then the only thing you have to take care of is not touching the trees. Flyboarding is one of the newest water sports, which is a lot of fun to do. For those who have never heard of flyboarding, I'll explain it briefly. It's an activity where the person stands on a board that is connected to a long hose with water pressure that allows you to propel above the water. In the following video, you see a woman doing various tricks above the water. This woman is none other than Gemma Weston from New Zealand. She's the world champion of flyboarding in the women's division. She was also by far the best during the ex-Dubai Flyboard World Cup. Flyboarders like Gemma can reach 11 meters above the water. Not only that, but they can also perform acrobatic stunts before diving back into the water. Before Gemma started flyboarding, she had done many other stunt acts and TV shows like Neverland and The Hobbit Trilogy. Have you ever been stuck in traffic? It's probably one of the worst things that can ruin your day. But I assure you, it's not as bad as what we're about to witness here. When people were returning from vacation and trying to enter Beijing, China. The day is famously known for being the longest traffic jam the world's ever seen. These individuals were trapped for a staggering three days just to move 62 miles, or 100 kilometers ahead. The total congestion lasted a mind-boggling 12 days. For small vendors in the area, this was a golden opportunity as they sold their goods like water and noodles to people stuck in their cars. According to authorities, the cause of this traffic nightmare was highway maintenance and an increase in large trucks heading to Beijing. Is it computer graphics or just an edited video? It may be hard to believe, but the stone is real, even though it looks like an item from the game Minecraft. We have no idea who or where it was found, but it looks like this stone could start a new trend of jewelry. Imagine a necklace studded with different crystals like this one. A lightning strike is an electrical discharge between the atmosphere and the ground. A lightning strike would occur more than 8 million times a day. This means that the Earth is hit every second. Fortunately, the chance of being hit is small. But if there is a thunderstorm, it's better to watch out and be especially careful in the vicinity of tall objects and trees, which are more likely to be hit by lightning. However, most lightning strikes occur in tropical areas like Africa and the least in areas like the North and South Pole. The following video was filmed at Bryson Lake Lodge in Quebec, Canada. A man who had put down a camera sees a tall tree struck by lightning right in front of his eyes. Luckily, everyone was safely inside and people were fine. But as you can see in the slow motion, it looks pretty spectacular. If you live near an airport, it can be quite annoying to constantly hear the sound of planes flying low. Fortunately, there are flight altitudes that pilots must adhere to. And some places on Earth, such as Area 51, are even forbidden to fly over them. So if you suddenly see an airplane flying very low in the city, then you might be shocked. This has also happened in January of 2019, when a military plane flew extremely low in Nashville, in the American state of Tennessee. It would have flown around for more than an hour, and people looking out the windows of their offices had no idea what was going on. Later, it turned out to be a test exercise for the inauguration of the governor of Tennessee. The problem was that no warning was given in advance, and the final event was cancelled due to bad weather conditions. Are you an arachnophobe? Then you'd better click away. Arachnophobia is when you have a fear of spiders. Looking at the following video footage, it looks like the apocalypse has begun. We're not even kidding. Thousands of spiders tried to escape the rising waters in Australia, and one brave man whose house was literally full of spiders told reporters that he's totally fine with it because he grew up with spiders. The good thing about thousands of spiders that appeared is that they let many people know in time to evacuate before the flooding. Unfortunately, every year wild animals such as chimpanzees are captured by poachers for the illegal trade. Fortunately, there are individuals and organizations that rescue these animals and try to give them a good life. This includes Dr. Jane Goodall, a woman who has saved many chimpanzees from dangerous people and who dedicates her work to campaigning for primates. One of the most memorable chimpanzees she saved was Wanda. Before she took Wanda into her care, the chimpanzee had suffered trauma. But with the help of Dr. Goodall and her experienced team, Wanda received medical treatment and was genuinely loved and cared for. So when Wanda, along with 50 other chimpanzees, finally recovered and would be returned to the wild, Wanda couldn't help but be very grateful to her friends. To show this, as you can see in the video footage, she gave Jane an emotional goodbye hug. 
Have you ever worked for a restaurant where you had to deliver food to people's homes? Share the craziest experience you've had in the comments below. The following pizza delivery person arrived with a pizza at a house somewhere in Moscow, Russia. But when the recipient opened the door, she was left astonished. A dressed up monkey stood at the door, giving the woman a tip and accepting the pizza. How incredibly bizarre is that? The monkey's owner likely trained it well on how to make a payment. After handing over the pizza, the delivery person decided to quickly run away out of fear. Recycling plastic is a great thing that's supposed to help us with pollution. But for some people, plastic is a challenge to make something unusual. Here's a plastic bottle castle made out of thousands and thousands of plastic bottles. It's huge, and we bet a lot of people come to see this interesting and unusual structure. Speaking of pollution, you can bring your plastic bottles and they'll be used to continue building the castle. In early 2020, a village in Somerset, England is said to have suffered from a man wearing a morph suit. A morph suit is a kind of suit that covers your whole body. The story goes that he scared the hell out of everyone in the village. Some even claim that they were chased. An anonymous woman who witnessed this managed to take a picture of the man. But the government hadn't been able to catch the man. The man was also found on the beach where he ran after another woman. The man looks pretty scary, and I don't think you would want to run into him like this. From what I could have found, nothing bad had happened, but why this man did this has never been completely clear. If this would have been a joke, it would have gone too far according to the people in the village. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. All over the world, it's well known that cycling is the most popular in the Netherlands. There are even more bikes than people. A video came out on March 31st, 2016 from Google Netherlands introducing the first self-driving bicycle. It could be inspired by the same technique as a self-driving car. This video became viral on the internet, but later turned out to be a joke. The bike rides through the city of Amsterdam without anyone driving it. At the end of the video, they show how the video was made using some kind of extension and special effects. With the self-driving car that we think will definitely come in the future, it's not too bad that there are self-driving bikes as well. Apparently, a company from China was inspired and made their own self-driving bikes. Whether we see this used in practice, who knows? What do you think? Not only spiders can escape when they sense danger. Here we have a huge moon balloon that decided to escape from the festival in Henan province in China. Although, some people might smile as they watch this video. The giant moon balloon caused some trouble on the road as it collided with several cars and people. We don't know exactly what happened, but this giant moon really wanted to roll to freedom. On February 18th, 2021, NASA made a breakthrough with the robotic rover mission, which was launched on July 30th, 2020. Indeed, they managed to make a successful landing in the Jizaro crater of the planet Mars. The Atlas V launch vehicle carried two important things with it, namely the rover Perseverance and the small helicopter called Ingenuity. Ingenuity is one of the highlights of the mission, and it's the first robotic helicopter to fly on another planet. According to NASA, the helicopter will fly around the red planet for over 30 days to gather as much info as possible. This is an incredible moment, and many people are looking forward to see what the robotic helicopter will capture. Who knows, maybe it'll find some other kind of life on Mars, which would be awesome, or a little scary. What would you think about that? Let me know in the comments. In the following video, we can witness the immense amount of water released during an emergency water discharge from a dam. You might not have known this, but dams play a crucial role in our daily lives. It's thanks to these structures that we receive water for our domestic needs, as well as for industrial and agricultural purposes. Dams also provide us with one of the most vital components of modern life today. Electricity, through the hydroelectric power generation. Often water is discharged from dams to maintain water levels and reservoirs. When released, water flows through the spillways. This typically occurs as winter comes to an end and ice begins to melt. The water from the reservoirs is released to prevent overflow. And when that happens, the amount of water that is released is truly astonishing. Tired of soccer, tennis, or other sports? Then we've got something new for you. You can become a jetpack samurai. So what does this mean, I see you thinking? Well, it means that you can become one of those samurai from the movies and fight against your friends in an aerial battle. A person who uploaded this video claimed he didn't know if the video was fake or real, but the video itself is pretty awesome. Would you want to try something like this? Let me know in the comments. Throughout history, dams have been used to prevent flooding. Dams also provide electricity. The more water flowing through a dam flows, the more energy is produced. 
But there's also other types of dams. A waste dam is a dam that's used to store byproducts of mining activities. On January 25th, 2019, a huge 282 foot or 86 meter high dam collapsed near the Corrego do Fejo iron ore mine, located in the state of Minas Gerais. This event was recorded on camera, and as you can see, a steam of muddy waste material was released that flowed over the roads, farms, and houses. The 270 people who were in the neighborhood had no chance to get away. A few weeks, it was reported that Brazil has more than 4,000 dams that would be at high risk. The Rubik's Cube was first used in 1974 and was designed by a Hungarian man called Erno Rubik. However, in the 80s, it became very popular among the youth. And over the years, people tried to solve it as soon as possible. In 2018, a Chinese boy named Yu Xing Du set the world record and solved the Rubik's Cube in just 3.47 minutes. It may look simple, but this is incredibly clever, and it would probably take us hours or even days to solve it ourselves. In August of 2018, a man named Jeremy Allison managed to combine the Rubik's Cube with his other passion, namely skydiving. As he jumps out of the plane, he rolls himself on his back and descends to the earth at a speed of 160 kilometers per hour. At the same time, he manages to solve the Rubik's Cube and open his parachute in time, which is quite impressive. If you live in a big city, you probably get tired of all the endless traffic, which is extremely terrible. But after seeing this video, your opinion will probably change. Here we see video footage of the nerve center of Addis Ababa. The place is often crowded as Ethiopians host various festivals in the city. The chaotic intersections seem unreal, and you may wonder, are there any traffic lights? It's a good question because we couldn't find the answer to that. In the following video, we see some beachgoers in Russia who are enjoying what seemed to be a beautiful day of sunbathing and swimming. But what they didn't know is that a huge hailstorm was coming. At first, it was just one thunder and lightning, but then it became quite frightening. One man was even able to capture this natural phenomenon on camera. As we can see, the weather suddenly changed due to huge hailstones falling from the sky. Everyone also decided to leave the beach as soon as possible to find a covered place. Some of the hailstones that fell from the sky were the size of golf balls and eggs. By the way, did you know that the record for the largest hailstone was an incredible 20 centimeters? It fell down in America's town of Vivian, somewhere in 2010, and had a weight of 0.9 kilograms. Meet Hungry Hank, a night heron residing near a Hawaiian hotel. He's no ordinary bird. In fact, he's incredibly intelligent. The reason he hangs around the pond is to catch fish. However, he faces the tough competition, including swans. So he had to devise a way to catch his own fish. Hank managed to acquire a piece of bread, which he places in the water. Then he patiently waits until the fish gather around. Once there are sufficient fish, he swiftly snatches one from the water. In this instance, he even managed to catch two fish at once. But what makes this night heron even smarter is that he retrieves the piece of bread from the water when there's a larger fish nearby that he can't eat. This man probably loves watermelons so much that he eats them like a boss. It's hard to say why he decided to put the melon on a spinner, but as you can see, it spins super fast. Maybe he's training himself to break another Guinness World Record. We're not sure, and if you have any ideas, feel free to share them in the comments. But also, check out his face. Although it looks funny to us, it might not be so easy to eat watermelon when it's spinning super fast. If you're a lover of everything that has to do with boats, then you have certainly heard of Sail Amsterdam. This is an event that is held every five years in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, where millions of people come to see all kinds of different boats from all over the world. It was first held in 1975 to celebrate the 700th anniversary of the city of Amsterdam. To give you an idea of what this event looks like, in 2015, the YouTube channel called Drone Addicts made a time lapse of it. As you can see in this video, the whole event looks pretty chaotic. Everywhere there are boats and sailing ships, which is a beautiful sight. Building a skyscraper can take years in some cases. However, it can be demolished in just a few seconds, especially if it's a controlled demolition. On the 2nd of February 2014, it was decided that the AFE skyscraper, located in Frankfurt, Germany, had to be destroyed. An event like this is not often recorded on camera, but in this case, it is. To achieve this, they had to drill 1,500 holes in which the explosives were put in. The AFE tower was an incredible 380 feet, 
or 160 meters high. It is also the tallest building in Europe that was demolished because of this. The images look quite spectacular because how often do you see a building coming down within a few seconds? China is known for being very fast at building things, but it surprised the whole world when it built a thousand hospitals in five days when the C-19 pandemic hit the country. China responded quickly to the pandemic and managed to build multiple buildings in a short period of time. The whole world watched as they managed to save many lives of their population in a short time. They should actually be in the Guinness Book of World Records for building the speed record, don't you think? This is the combat ship USS Jackson, a US Navy battleship undergoing a shock testing. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is a shock test? A shock test is how ships are tested for how well they handle underwater explosions. In the following video footage, the USS Jackson is being tested and the ship managed to pass the test in the end. These tests are done to assess the construction of ships and this is especially important in combat ships. The shock tests make the whole of the ship move and then it's assessed how the components of the ship react to the massive vibrations. Although shock tests are useful, they are debated by the US Navy. This is primarily because the tests are obviously very expensive. They have to pick the right location, and also the weather and sea conditions have to be right before they can conduct the tests. In July 2021, the Gulf of Mexico made headlines as the ocean caught fire. The video went viral on various social media platforms, garnering hundreds of millions of views. People couldn't believe how such a scenario was even possible. The platform and underwater pipeline belonged to the oil company Pemex. They were fortunate to respond quickly when the underwater gas pipeline ruptured. This resulted in a bright orange flame on the ocean's surface, resembling molten lava. Some liken it to a scene from a movie or even a portal to hell. Let's hope this incident doesn't cause too much harm to the marine life. According to the company, no oil was leaked and there was no damage to the environment, but further investigation is underway. China is known for being very fast at building things, but it surprised the whole world when it built a thousand hospitals in five days when the C-19 pandemic hit the country. China responded quickly to the pandemic and managed to build multiple buildings in a short period of time. The whole world watched as they managed to save many lives of their population in a short time. They should actually be in the Guinness Book of World Records for building the speed record, don't you think? Video games are being played more and more these days. Some people play mobile games on their phone, while others play on their gaming console or computer. There's so much choice. You can play online, offline, with your friends, and there's a lot of genres to choose from. Playing games used to be considered nerdy, but nowadays almost everyone does it. According to a 2019 MPD study, more than 73% of people would play video games. It has become so popular that pigs now also play games. Yes, you heard me right. Pigs are seen as intelligent animals. They can feel emotions like stress. They are very social, and according to scientists, they would be as smart as a three-year-old child. Pigs would also be genetically very close to us as humans, as they also like to listen to music. This experiment from 2012 in which a pig plays a video game was held and the pig was smart enough to move the joystick with its snout. Dolphins are incredibly clever animals. They have their own personality, self-awareness, and can be very social. In this video, you see a dolphin that can recognize itself in the mirror. They also make click-like sounds, which are their own language, and what they use to talk to other dolphins. But how smart are these animals? In the following video, a girl is taking a boat trip with her family in the neighborhood of Norway. Soon they meet a friendly white dolphin who greets the people in the boat. Apparently, the girl was too enthusiastic and accidentally dropped her phone in the water. They assumed she would have lost her phone, but out of nowhere, the white dolphin came in with her phone in his mouth. An incredible moment which was captured on camera. Normally, when a plane crashes into the water, no one survives. But in this video, not only was the plane safe, but there was a fisherman not far from the scene who managed to save the lives of the passengers. The plane crashed into a lagoon somewhere in Micronesia, yet all 47 people on board survived. The fisherman who saw what happened rushed to the site and along with his friends did his best to help the people. Many praise this man's courage, as not everyone would probably dare to go so close to such an incident. An average tennis match lasts between 1.5 and 3 hours, but did you know that there was once a tennis match played that lasted a whopping 11 hours and 5 minutes? This match was played between American tennis player John Eisner and French player Nicolas Mahut, and it took place during the 2010 Wimbledon Championships. 
This match started on June 22nd of 2010 at 6 p.m. and didn't end until June 24th at 5 a.m. On the first day, the match continued until it got dark outside, then paused and resumed the following afternoon. The moment is known as the longest tennis match ever played. However, this record will also never be able to be broken again. This is because the time rules have been changed nowadays. The hot air balloons of Cappadocia and Turkey have become increasingly popular among tourists, attracting over half a million visitors each year. Some come to watch the hot air balloons, while others pay handsomely to experience a flight above the Cappadocia landscape. You might easily understand why people do this, as the view, as shown in the video, is breathtakingly beautiful. Cappadocia's landscape was shaped by natural erosion over 60 million years ago, and it's dotted with stunning cave formations, cave dwellings, and underground cities that you can even stay in. Cappadocia is a UNSCO World Heritage Site, ensuring its protection and maintenance. The prime time to experience the hot air balloons is from April to November. Seeing hundreds of hot air balloons fill the sky at sunrise is truly enchanting. A balloon ride costs between $200 and $300, which might be a bit pricey, but it's undoubtedly worth it, don't you agree? You've probably seen metal scaffolding loaded into trucks and stacks, and then used to build houses. But did you know that people in China, India, and especially Hong Kong use bamboo scaffolding? Yep, believe it or not, but that's the only type of scaffolding they use to build houses. I can see you thinking, can you really trust that bamboo is a good material? Yes. You'll be surprised to learn that they are actually very durable and that they produce much more scaffolding per truckload than steel scaffolding. If you like to go to the beach, then you can probably try to build sandcastles. This is normally done by children, but did you know that there's also adults who have made a competition out of it? These people make the most detailed sandcastles, also called sand sculptures that look very special. For example, the website Booking.com, where you can book vacations, had a very cool idea. They created a sandcastle of 6.5 feet, or 2 meters high, and 59 by 59 feet, or 18 by 18 meters, where you can really sleep in it. How cool is that? The sandcastle is located in Coney Island, New York, and for only $29 per night, you can stay here. The beach is very popular, with tourists and the sandcastle hotel, which is only available in the summer. It's sure to catch your eye if you stay there. The interior has a bed, a shower with a bathroom and air conditioning. There's also all kinds of beach equipment available, such as surfboards, flip-flops, beach balls, towels, bags, and headphones. What you're witnessing in this video is the Anbashira Festival in Nagano, Japan, also known as the Log Riding Festival. The Anbashira Festival is often hailed as the world's most dangerous festival. Participants ride on the logs that slide down from the mountains. The festival takes place only once every six years, during the Year of the Monkey and the Year of the Tiger in the Chinese Zodiac. But there is a reason behind this daring tradition. Sixteen massive logs are felled from the mountains and eventually hauled from the Sua Grand Shrine. There, they replace the pillars of the shrine, building a symbolic act. This traditional festival has been held for 1,200 years. However, it's not for the faint-hearted, as you can clearly see the danger involved. The Olympic Games are international events of all kinds of sports in which thousands of athletes form all over the world to participate. According to Greek tradition, the first Olympic Games were held in Olympia, Greece, in the year 776 BC. At that time, the Games were held in honor of the Greek gods. The first modern Olympic Games were held on April 6, 1896. And every four years, there's a Winter Olympic Games and a Summer Olympic Games. The tradition is that a holy flame is picked up from Greece and brought to the stadium. In the stadium is then a bowl or cauldron that is lit with a torch and remains lit until the end of the event. In 1992, the cauldron was lit in a very unique way by Spanish archer Antonio Robel. This is also seen as the most special moment in history on how they started the Olympic Games. The video footage taken by a security camera at the Dunlap Dam perfectly captured how the dam suddenly gave way. The Dunlap Dam was a reservoir on the Guadalupe River in the U.S. state of Texas. It primarily regulates the water level of four large lakes, Lake Gonzales, Meadow Lake, Lake Placid, and Lake McQueenie. The dam was built in 1931 to provide hydroelectric power in the surrounding area. But Dunlap Dam was already more than 90 years old, which was probably the reason for the collapse. The event partially drained the lakes. Some residents who have lived near the lakes for years have tremendously suffered financially. The dam that needs to be repaired will cost between $15 and $30 million. 
As I was able to find, they're already in the process of rebuilding the dam, but this will probably take a while to complete. The hot air balloons of Cappadocia and Turkey have become increasingly popular among tourists, attracting over half a million visitors each year. Some come to watch the hot air balloons, while others pay handsomely to experience a flight above the Cappadocia landscape. You might easily understand why people do this, as the view, as shown in the video, is breathtakingly beautiful. Cappadocia's landscape was shaped by natural erosion over 60 million years ago, and it's dotted with stunning cave formations, cave dwellings, and underground cities that you can even stay in. Cappadocia is a UNSEO World Heritage Site, ensuring its protection and maintenance. The prime time to experience the hot air balloons is from April to November. Seeing hundreds of hot air balloons fill the sky at sunrise is truly enchanting. A balloon ride costs between $200 and $300, which might be a bit pricey, but it's undoubtedly worth it, don't you agree? Mexican black bears are endangered these days, and you can only imagine how nervous the person behind the camera was when she shot this video. Not because she was afraid the bear would attack her, but because the bear was climbing a huge mountain. This happens somewhere in Santa Elena Canyon in Texas, USA, and the mountain is known to be extremely dangerous. When Stephanie, the woman behind the camera, was kayaking, she would have seen the bear climbing. Of course, she couldn't do anything to help, but she hoped they got home safely. BMX is seen as an extreme sport and has even become an Olympic sport since 2008. The bike is used for racing, but also to do the coolest tricks. This is also called freestyling and could be done anywhere. For example, in a park or just on the street. Now, I don't know too much about it myself, but when I saw this video passing by, I thought, wow, this is very impressive. A guy named Tate Roskelly uploaded a highlights video on the YouTube channel RBMX that shows different tricks. But one trick stood out in my opinion. He starts driving on his rear wheel while his front wheel disconnects from the frame and rolls towards the wall. What happened after is very cool. The wheel bounces back on his bike through the wall and he continues. Very creative if you ask me. And according to the people in the comments, this trick is absolutely unbelievable. A marching band is a group of people who march with certain instruments to the beat of the music. You could see this during a parade, but there are also competitions. In April of 2020, the Ohio State Band performed during an event in which they managed to show something spectacular. As you can see, they depicted the space race between the United States and Russia, which was a race who could land first on the moon and return to Earth. In honor of the 50th anniversary, the Ohio State Marching Band performed this, and the video went viral. From displaying two rockets to the Apollo 11 spaceship and an astronaut with the American flag, very special to see and very creatively thought of. Domino is a game where you have to put down dominoes and then you can push them over. There's also several competitions and championships of this held all over the world. However, the next bed company called Aaron's Inc. came up with the idea of using their mattresses to break a domino record. They managed to get a lot of people together and set an official Guinness World Record in 2016. The funny thing about this is that they weren't even trying to set a record, but they did it to create a stronger team bond. The record they achieved was successful in only one attempt, and it ended up taking 13 minutes and 38 seconds. The mattresses used by the 1,200 participants were then donated to charitable organizations. While most dogs have no problem riding in cars, it's not often the case for cats. But meet Rory, the dashboard cat who actually loves car rides. Rory's owner reveals that whenever the cat hops into the car, he promptly settles on the dashboard. It seems the cat enjoys gazing at the passing clouds and cars. Often, Rory ends up dozing off on the dashboard during the journey. Given that this behavior is quite unusual for a cat, it's no surprise that the video went viral on the internet. Have you ever experienced an incredible moment yourself? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.